Thank you for tuning in and welcome. Hope you guys have had a great weekend. I got some tags from Neo and Braindead Eldritch Player. Edlich Player, excuse me. <laughs> and uh, interesting situation going on here where someone actually used AI to redub the infamous Dragon Maid Patriarchy scene. And people are praising this dub. Uh, I'll play some of it for you to hear as well. And let me know what you think. Also, a final side note. If by any chance someone is tuning into this video and has no clue what we're talking about regarding the corruption in the localization industry, it's way too much to recap here because most people watching this are probably familiar with the matter. And, uh, well, that's one reason. The second reason is, like I said, it's also just way too much to recap briefly here. A lot has happened. But essentially, there's been a lot of corruption in that industry, and anime fans and gamers, etc., etc., have called these people out to which they've essentially just like doubled down, tripled down, or a uh, dozen down. <laughs> if we're talking about a certain ADR script director. But yeah, if you are out the loop on all that, consider checking out my playlist on localization, corruption, localizer corruption. I'll link it in the description for your convenience. And now we'll take a look at an AI redubbing that was posted of the infamous Dragon Maid scene where uh, Jamie Markey had changed the line to rant about the patriarchy despite that not being the original japanese context and getting her a ton of backlash for her manipulation of the intellectual property to force in her own political rhetoric what's with that outfit oh everyone was always saying something to me so i tried toning it down for exposure how is it okay i'm pausing for a second mostly because copyright purposes you know how sometimes this anime stuff is on youtube so you've probably all seen the screenshot but also just in case again we might have some new viewers here so on the right hand side of this uh, text at the bottom you can see the funimation dub version where toru's like what are you wearing that for and luko was like oh those pesky patriarchal side mans were getting on my nerves so i changed clothes and toru's like give it a week they'll be begging for you to change back and on the left-hand side, you can see the subs, which are much closer to the original Japanese context. And that's also what the AI redub version you're hearing now uh, uses. <laughs> so here's the rest of that clip. You should try changing your body next. You can come on in if you want. And the clip doesn't end there either, because the uh, person on YouTube here, Prompt Pirate, also added an extra little bonus, which I'll play right now too. <sighs> it's no wonder those annoying voice actors are upset. They're all so arrogant and annoying. Nah, just the Western ones. So yeah, that, uh, <laughs> that part's obviously not from Dragon Maid. That's just the prompt pirate dude having some fun messing around and, you know, taking a jab at some of the corrupt English voice actors. There's a growing distaste towards the entire English dub industry and localization industry as well, as we kind of already talked about, probably already know. <laughs> Point is, though, it, it does kind of suck that the good ones are getting looped in with the bad ones. I don't know what they can do about that. Maybe if they start talking more and speaking out more against the like corruption in the industry and standing up for the fans more, maybe that would help. Not sure. Let me know what you think in the comments. And ultimately, tons of fans are saying that despite the flaws in AI and how it's not necessarily an ideal situation, they would still rather have AI handling this stuff as opposed to a human maliciously abusing the intellectual property and the fans. Because many of the localizers and the VAs who have defended them and the corruption in the industry have gone on Twitter, for example, and also attacked the fans, attacked anime fans and gamers, etc, etc. And so it's pretty understandable why people would not want, why the fans would not want people like that in the industry, especially in positions of power where they can just bring the whole industry down. Like people don't want that to happen. So now here we are. And of course, as AI tech advances more and more and more, well, I suppose we will see where this all goes, especially with Japanese companies now embracing AI more as well, as we saw recently in Ancient Magus Bride. So yeah, well, I guess I'll leave it there. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments. Thank you for tuning in as always. And if you enjoyed this segment, consider liking and or subscribing for more videos like this every day. And I'll see you in the next one.